Hi, it's Dave from Drive Adventure once again as we are whisked along in the E63 on another episode of Costco Drives. Yeah. As you can see, very early on, I've got company. <laughs> so, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing back. your back. That's right. In today's video, I am going to be discussing the McLaren 600 LT. I'm also going to uh, talk a little bit around the car criteria for Driving Venture Club because every week that goes by we get nearer to the club launching, which, you know, I'm really excited about. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, I'm also going to talk about um, a bit around Rolex hype and as tends to be the case every year as we approach the reveals from Rolex what's gone what's gone on with a price hike with, with Rolex watches we'll talk about that and also the main event Me. after I reveal Me. and talk a little bit about my GMT ceramic GMT which I'm sporting today I'm going to give you the lowdown and the reveal on the spec of the spider well Pretty much all of it, anyway. The colour, the colour will be will be kept under wraps until the reveal on handover day. Porsche Centre, it may well be Porsche Centre South Lakes by then because their facility now is well and truly underway, and you know it's going to be a summer opening. So I'll talk more about that. So this is the spec of the of the spider. So we'll uh, we'll go over that uh, later on in this video. So I don't know how it's gonna. I've take... just looked at the price. Oh my word! Oh, I don't know how it's gonna take shape in terms of uh, part one, part two. But anyway, we'll see how we go. So first up, then the McLaren 600 L. Uh, how about me? I'm here too. No, no. Yeah, and I. Uh, and my co-compadre and co-pilot for today's journey, Emily. And I have all my treats right here. I can't call it Sainsbury's Drives, but there's a little bit of a pit stop there before we're up on, on our way to Costco now. So uh, it's pizza night tonight. So my wife does amazing pizzas in the oven, the Arga oven. So we're just going to get a few supplies to uh, put the toppings on the top. Okay. Put cherry on the top is the word. Yeah, we have to get some stuff from Sainsbury's, don't we? Yeah, we yeah, have to get some stuff from Sainsbury's. Okay, so let's talk about the 600 LT. Hope you enjoyed that video. What yeah. stands out about the 600 LT to me is its rawness. You know, they're stripping away weight, it's had a bit of a diet, so you're not getting carpet under your seat. Those center seats look fab, supportive. Um, got a little bit of red trim that was on them. I mean, just a raw, bumpy bit. Just a raw car, which lets you know what's going on with the asphalt underneath your tires. Maybe Krispy Kreme. Well, we'll see, I mean, it's all, behavior dependent you know we'll have to see whether you get an allocation of Krispy Kremes or maybe a Starbucks we'll just have to see Starby. but the 600 LT for me the price point again picking one of those up now in the secondary market I think it's an absolute bargain of a car you are getting a very different type of performance to a Turbo S which I drove recently 911 Turbo S you're getting a very raw and engaging car you know the gt the gt feel of that car the gt3 rs type of rough and ready feel for me is it makes the car a very exciting proposition for people who are wanting an exciting car that's got unbelievable performance i mean that thing a rocket it's a rocket you've seen some instagram stuff and maybe the video hopefully it does it justice but i mean we are talking rapido 0 to 60 and what sub three seconds i mean it's doing? just got loads got loads what and the talk from the v8 engine is just astonishing it just Daddy? picks you up catapults you forward and it's got a different sound because of course you've got the v8 
over uh, a six cylinder unit, which I'm used to driving most of my cars, unless I'm in this one. Daddy. Yeah, I know. When are we going to be showing Emily's you full of beans, but give her some uh, Pepsi Max and the beans hey. get, uh, <laughs> get turbo charged. <laughs> so, uh, so there we go. So, I mean, I think it's just a, a really exciting proposition. Handles so well, proper steering rack in that car. So, you know, you are changing direction uh, quicker than perhaps a lady changes her mind. I mean, just, I mean, just, and you are, you are, you are changing direction. So just a very, very engaging car to drive, a very exciting car to drive. But I think it's a car for a lineup of cars where you've got something else maybe in the garage, because I think a journey, a longer journey, it lacks the comfort factor like my RS. It's not really that could be daily getting in and out of it's pretty tricky but I think that the price they're at for McLaren it's good news because you're getting into a car not far not far off half price at the moment if you pick a decent one I think that the spider would be exciting with no roof to 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 uh, you know heighten the emotions as you're pressing on probably probably something to consider so there we go anyway Emily whatever you do you must not mention the colour in this video. <laughs> My lips are sealed. sealed. There we go. Okay, right, Emily, can you tell me what's next on the list there next to the star mark after, after Spider? What does it uh, say there? Car criteria for driving venture club membership. Okay, right. Well, I've had a few people contacting me. You know, I've mentioned about the, the trip that's booked. So, you know, that's booked for Boxable. September, October for the Highlands. So we've had people contacting me about the criteria. Well, I haven't really sat down and really given it lots and lots of thought, but I'll be honest, I think obviously if you've got a Porsche, if you've got uh, any Porsche, then that the club's for you. Obviously, I love the brand. If you've got a McLaren, if you've got a Lamborghini, if you've got a Ferrari, I am in two minds whether to broaden it to sort of an AMG level Mercedes and BMW M. Not, not sure, I haven't really found or decided upon that. But if it's not from the get-go, then maybe something where we do maybe special trips for M cars, for AMG cars, for the hot hatch fraternity. Whether we, we'll just have to see. Um, I don't know what the demand's gonna be like. I'm hoping it'll be good, because I mean, anyone that's in the stuff we do, the photographs we do, contact looking great, with your cars in the mix, it's exciting. Um, so, you know, that's where I think it will be. Um, I think there's a lot of people with Porsche cars in the UK I consider to be a little underserved. Um, but the other thing to point out too, as I said it before, you know, this is the, this is a Northwest type thing. So we might do stuff kind of Midlands-ish occasionally, but it's going to be North, Northwest, up towards Scotland, the borders and the North of the UK. That's predominantly where things are going to take place. Now, as the club grows, we may appoint people to help and run stuff further. Watch out, pothole on road ahead. We may, we may broaden it, but you know, as I said before, I'm just really looking to build it steadily so that we don't, you know, run faster than, than we can. So, run, run faster than necessary. So, just drop this into second gear now. Drop me to There's an Mexico. overtake opportunity coming. So, here we go. This V8 engine just woofs you along and you are past the articulated petroleum spirit lorry in the blink of an eye. Okay, so so that's really where I think the car, for me, the car membership level is going to be. Um, so there we go. Well, I'll take soundings from my close friends and they will hopefully give me good guidance too good along time. the way because we're going to have some uh, you know founder members people that you may have seen on some of the previous content the trips you? we've done we're going to uh, have some founder members in the mix so so, that, so that, that's good and exciting okay so what's next on the list emily okay next you must come next time you're really good at this is yeah rolex price hike before new release on Mary okay Mary. yeah Mary. so we're going to digress Mary. yeah that's fine yeah so we're going to direct digress okay. let me see the Ceramic, no, it's ceramic now, isn't it? Ceramic yeah, GMT. Yeah. Okay, that's it, yeah. So maybe I'll talk about what I've noticed to be a bit of a hype or hike in pricing 
around Rolex. Now, this tends to happen pre-release of what is to be expected, the new models from Rolex. So what we're seeing is, I said this one on my, not this video, last one, the one before, before that, is that anything on the Rolex catalog, anything in the Rolex catalog with Daytona in the name, it's just gone off of the scale. If you try and search up a precious metal Rolex Daytona bracelet or on Oyster Flex, and you are just absolutely struggling to find anything. It's all above list. The list, of, the waiting list of demands just gone off the scale, and you are you are talking well and truly big overs to get anything in the precious metal uh, line. And it's not just that; all the steel line that's gone crazy, as we already know. It's impossible to sort of get get steel watches. So it always happens on the build up to Basel but it's not Basel Rolex this year they're going to be doing an online an online thing from 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 uh, what will be their new show in Geneva which is you know just have got the videos isn't happening this year so the anticipation of new models always gets the masses thinking well what watch is going what watch is going to be updated what what dial color could go and this is happening at the moment with the the Platinum Daytona, it's just gone ridiculous. I saw I saw a Platinum Daytona listed for sale. This was this was one that was I think it was 2015 and it was it was 80,000 or 85,000 pounds. That's that's 20,000 pounds or more above list price. So I mean that's happening because people think the Platinum Daytona is going to finish and it's it's been a recurring theme and I'm so glad I got my one but I mean is it really going to go this time round I don't think so I think near its 10 year anniversary is is probably the time I think for that watch to go but could they withdraw the green dial green the green dial um, yellow gold Daytona could they you know could they as I said before I think that the Explorer 2 is in for in for a refresh so it just seems to bump up the prices. So if you're looking for a watch at the moment, the price has just gone crazy. And I think, again, they've got to do that because people who own these special watches, they want to get them in stock. So they've got to offer the owner a premium to get out of the watch and get it in their, in their, get in their shop window, so to speak. So there we are. You know, it's just, it's just a supply and demand thing, which is just... which has just gone crazy. As an S3 whisks past me, but I can't. When I'm on film, you know, you just, you just gotta play it cool, haven't you? Well, it might be his day overtaking a 63S. <laughs> okay, what's next on the list, Emily? Of discussed items. Okay, right. Well, what I'll do then... Wait, I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's okay. What I'll also no, do... Yeah, it's okay. I can see it now. What I'll also do is I'll just tuck a little bit before we get stationary, because I think when we get stationary, that's when I'm going to get into the uh, spec rundown on the spider, or whether I'll do that in part two. Anyway, it's coming up, so, so stay tuned. So the watch we're wearing today, if I can get my cardigan sleeve up, is as I'm driving is okay. my double one six seven one zero and it's uh, the as you know you know, you know by now I like the black and black look with Rolex now this is the only watch I've purchased in another country I actually bought this watch when I was visiting a good friend in Italy and it was the the agent in Como the Lake Como agent and I was just seeing my friend there and have it his mum was unbelievable cup tell you what Oh, I never, never ate so well in my life. I like, felt like a king staying there. But anyway, I went in and I asked about this particular watch. And it was at the time when the bracelet version of the um, the blue and the black um, the oyster bracelet version of the blue and the black, uh, the Batman um, Rolex was there. And what I like about this watch is the green detailing on it. So you get the green hand, the 24 hour hand, and you also have 
the green GMC Master on the dial and I really really like that and it wasn't that long after I purchased this watch that they brought out the white gold version which I've actually got which I've seen that in the previous video and um, this watch the black bezel black dial isn't available even in the newer versions with the Jubilee bracelet and I much prefer the Oyster the Oyster bracelet and the polished centre link it's just just a knockout just a little bit more dressy just a little just steps it up a little bit more a little bit of bling in it but not too much um, so you can certainly get away wearing it day to day um, so uh, yeah I'll get it off I'll get it off the wrist when we get stationary so that was so that was one of the reasons why I wanted it because it had the black and the green detailing which I really really liked and now it's not made anymore and I think I paid oh, I, don't, I can't remember now it's difficult to remember but it, what it means is it was a long time it was time about ago. I think I paid about less than five grand I think something around there but anyway in the used market now you know because they're not made anymore even on a jubilee the black black look it's it's a watch which is certainly north now of ten thousand quid so you know it's a watch which is very popular harder to come by in the secondary market because you know obviously you can't even get one with a jubilee on a jubilee brace you can get one with a jubilee bracelet but my one was um so on the oyster bracelet so i'll just uh my wrist and see if i can i did watch back the other video and the explorer and i think I did, i'm doing better <laughs> doing better with the with the um the focusing but uh but lisa no. hester said lurpak spreadable and okay no probs emily xxx okay kiss, would kiss, you kiss. like to reply mm -hmm. no there we go okay no other messages okay Good. You always get some interesting when Emily's in the video. So. Okay, so this is um, so this is the double one six seven one zero oyster bracelet. So the Rolex, um, the Rolex um, GMT was the first watch Rolex put a ceramic bezel on it, and I think Emily plays on. And the reason um, I think they did that was because I think the bezel on a GMT is stunning. You know, you've got the 24-hour um, markers, which interact with the 24-hour hand that goes around once uh, once a day. And the green detailing is just it's just really really special. Um, and it's a watch you can wear day to day. It's, it's got lovely patina. I've had it, you know, this good many years now. And so I'm not, I don't mind scratches and a bit of wear and tear. I think actually watches look a little better that way around. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, the profile—it's got a—it's got a more slender um, case back than you get in the Submariners and the Sea Dwellers, so it, ri it rides a little bit flatter on the wrist, and um, it's just a super, super watch. Um, from a collection, I don't wear it perhaps as much as I should because it is a stunner. Um, I just love that black, that black look. So there we go. Okay, well we're here now. I think it's time for supplies, and then the spider reveal will be next. So, the spec. Right, drum roll! The spec, so here we go. Right, so, I'll try and explain the reason why I went for certain things as we go along. So, obviously, the custom colour, the paint to sample, the colour to sample is with VAT. This is before the price rise, which I'm reliably informed is coming, and unfortunately I have to pay the price rise, because the car will be built after the price rise comes in. But the colour to sample costs six thousand nine hundred and eighty-six pounds, so it better be worth it. I think it will be. This car's okay. going to be <laughs> So we've got black leather interior, um, including the Alcantara or newly turned race text, with decorative stitching in yellow. So we can have yellow stitch in the cabin. Um, gone for the black logo on the back of the car in black high gloss so excuse me satin black excuse me exclusive filler fuel cap manual transmission yeah pdk is good good in the rs once in the classic and manual because don't okay. forget when we go electric you won't be able to have a manual it's just that's it so manual transmissions Maybe I'll bring that up in another video, but I think that's the way to go, and that's where I'm going on this car. 
Okay, conjecture. I did a Monaro on this one. I did think it's a lot of money, but I've gone for the carbon ceramic brakes only because I wanted the weight saving and also wanted the stopping power because I like to press on. But as I've said before, unless you're really using them in cold, wet weather, you can get into a bit of trouble. So yeah, I did go for those and I'm having them painted black. So maybe some, you guys will be thinking, well, what color goes of these options? So anyway, as this the sun, car, this as the sun, car, as the sun comes on. This car is going to blow your mind, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can put that out of there like that. Just put that over there like that. Because the sun's just on me a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, we've gone for... We've also gone for the uh, LED lamps with black surrounds. LED PDL+. Plus light design package inside the cabin and auto dimming mirrors with the rain sensors which is quite nice to have speed limit indicator when not get caught out at wrong speed there's bloody cameras everywhere yeah. okay rear park assist and camera so useful that when you're reversing i mean it's had that in my last car actually so that was, that was good home link so the button for the garage get the door up so i've gone for that and the full 918 bucket seat, which I think just aids the driving experience. Anyone who's seen my previous videos knows that's, that's just uh, I'm so something I wanted. I've also gone for the dual automatic climate control. When I had the previous spider, I had to kind of like determine the temperature by just like a, like a volume on the temperature and to speed of the fan. This will just give me the temperature set, which is what I wanted. Um, heated multi-function steering wheel well i can't heat the seat because the full bucket but I, I, I can heat the heat the steering wheel up so in the colder months that'll be quite toasty so yeah i decided to go for that um also to go with a yellow stitch we've gone with yellow seat belts and also yellow instrument dials so we're going going down that road dad know. are you excited for uh, this car i uh, just a bit just a bit um, can I spoil off a little bit? I'll be honest, since the car, since I got the order through and confirmed, I was, was, was kind of like ebbed off a little bit, but anyway. So there we go. Um, and the dashboard will also be uh, in yellow, uh, in leather with yellow stitch, and some visors are going to be yellow. So some visors are going to be uh, leather. So there we go. That's, that's it. Um, I have to pay a vast amount of money to have the key coloured in the same colour as the paint sample colour car, so that's cost a couple of quid. Um, I'm going for that, so leather edged mats. Um, I'm having the Porsche Crest on the centre console, so that's coming along. Pedals in aluminium, those sounds, speaker system, and uh, yeah, so I think that is about it. So, yeah, the colour um, as we get going. As we get going, I'll um, just explain a little bit around the paint sample how it works. Um, a factory have to allocate it to the country, then the country, the UK, Porsche UK, they allocate it to dealers. So Kendall had to put an application and say, look, we've got this customer who wants this option, and they've only got so many coloured sample slots. So if you offered a slot, your spec has to go in then, because even though it's uh, sort of three months before the car gets built, We've got to set up the paint, we've got to set up all the spec around the car so that you know it's all ready to go. So if you get a coloured sample slot, you've got to be very early with your spec. Otherwise, um, if I hadn't had the spec ready to go, what's this coloured sample option? And here's his spec that's helped with the with the um, with the order. And it was gonna be a GT4 coming to the UK, but he agreed to swap it for a spider so Kendall could have it. Or soon to be South Lakes, Porsche South Lakes. So big th thumbs up to those guys for you know beating the drum for me and asking the questions so uh, so that's it so yeah and there's going to be a part three um in the part three i'm going to talk about why i like the spider so much because we've got to just pause briefly and i've got to do some ordering on my phone for my special guest in the back now i've been chauffeured along as she right, drinks so, just show you now we've got these oh, <laughs> Oh, Not the only thing, guys. Just ready? Forget all about the spider, guys. This Chris, really big Chris! Oh. <laughs> Are they upside down? No. <laughs> Brett, just wait a sec while I'm getting Ooh, the My goodness me, now. It's amazing you got to do just to get it come on film. I mean, it's just crazy. Anyway. So, let's see how long I can... 
Just, got you've one. got the holders there, Emily. Yeah, just hold it. Why? Because I can carry both of them. Just put, just put, put them in the holders there. Like That's what it's there them. for. Okay. I'll put that in the back as well. All right, we're off. Wait. Safety first. Seriously, that's right. The joys of parenthood, you know, it's just... Um, as I said before, it's the tough, toughest thing, but it's, it's the greatest thing at the same time. Oh, I'm getting spoiled there. Getting spoiled there, yeah. Stoltz, when he put out that vault to get sweet. No, you didn't steal anything. You've given people bad ideas, I know, if you say things like that. Okay. okay, so why don't I spider so much? Well, it's because it offers so much as a package to the driver. So, convertible, manual transmission, obviously, no PDKs available. I think the number of PDK spiders actually come to UK will be ultra, ultra small because they're only made available to the car very late on in its production cycle. So, but I'm going manual, as you know. So manual transmission, a four litre aspirated GT engine, flat six. That's, that's exciting. Also, the capacity you've got the boot in the front, you've got capacity in the back, so as a, as a touring car, yeah, just two seats, but it's got a bit more capacity. But the value for money factor is unbelievable. I know I'm going crazy on the spec, you could say, and I've got, you know, I've got um, a lot going in the car, but I honestly believe this is a car I probably will never sell, um, this is probably the way I see it. Um, all my pals rib me because they say, well, you said that when you got your GT3, David. It's true. I had the perfect spec car. I love that car. But an RS Crayon example just popped up, and that was the only reason I sold it. And it didn't have the Petra particulate filters on it. We said all this before, so it was a perfect thing. And I think it's a great car that complements the RS because the RS is very mean. It's very loud. It's very angry. It's track focused. It's very sharp and quick. And the spad is different, although, in addition to what you've learned about the spec today, we're also going to have the um, car graphic exhaust system. So the manifolds that come off the engine block, then it goes to revised OPF filters, which are more free of flowing, and then it's got the back box at the back. So that's the, that's the system I'm going for, and carbon fibre end tips. So uh, I'm also going to do um, a nine Meister single mass flywheel which was available to spec on the 911R. It's obviously not a Porsche product but I'm reliably informed it's going to help with the it's going to help up with the, it's going to help with the um, the revving and the pickup of the engine so there we go so that that package of things should help the car along should we say but it's not it's not a car that you think oh I've got to do sub three seconds in or sub four seconds in it's just a car that you enjoy it's, it's motoring again it's the manual transmission it's all of those romantic things that, that that motorists want you know purists want when it comes to a car you know with the roof off I mean I remember because I'd never bought a convertible before when I, when I got the yellow racing yellow spider it just opened my eyes to that type of motoring and it really instilled a passion in me to think well, I've got to go that I've got to go down that road again so I'm so pleased <coughs> I'm grateful that the uh, Porsche Centre Kendall, soon to be Porsche Centre South Lakes, came through with the allocation. You know, they, they helped me out with that because the RS had come along, in, you know, before um, in the January of last year. So, you know, they had to help me with that. So, big thanks to them for that. So, anyway, all of a sudden, anyway, all of a sudden, I've got a very, very quiet uh, passenger who's not got a lot to say for herself. I wonder why. I can't really like. Yeah, yeah. So Can there we go. Like so. That? It's, it's a great package, it's great value, it's a great car. Built, it's built, got a lot of juice. It's got a lot of juice, yeah. Built in small numbers and to have a very unique colour. I don't know how true this is. I, I, I think the number of paint to sample, colour to sample, spider allocations, less than what's on my hand there. I think that's, that's what we're talking about. So it'll be a very rare car and obviously they're not going to tell me what other colours people have chosen from the list. But Dad, be I'd be surprised. Dad, I'd be surprised. Was it? Hands. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I'd be surprised if someone pops up with the same colour as me. But you never know. You never know. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a, 
just a dream really to dream spec dream car and it will be here hopefully in july so it's a it's a, it's a june build the thing about that with paint the sample is though if for whatever reason something just pops up it could be a delay um and it, i've known people to have orders go from sort of back end of the year to the first quarter of the following year it's just that's what's planned at the moment whether it comes as it should on time i sincerely hope so so uh, so there we go well thanks very much for watching costco drives again oh, come on, I can't say next time. You, know, you can you can say next time you're there you just lean forward oh she's kind of in the back but anyway yeah, she's, I'll see ya. she's been <laughs> she's, next time. she's been show for long uh, crispy cremes crispy cremes Starbucks. See you next time. <laughs> and another and crispy well, if she behaves herself, yeah. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you can, and uh, get the bell on. And as always, guys, I will see you next time. <laughs>